couple of haters get some poppin', nigga. New, 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 new 2020. Yo. New, 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 new What's up, man? Oh my god. Yo, it's been a minute. It's been a hot minute having it. What's up with y'all, man? What's up to my lock fam, man? My dreadlock fam. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Look, man, I didn't I didn't got my beard straight and everything. It's been that long. Probably done gained a few pounds, huh? Couple more zeros at it. But <laughs> neither here nor there. Yo, you seen the title? You probably seen the thumbnail, bro. Seven and a half. I'm talking about seven and a half years. I was about to say today, but seven and a half years and like maybe 10 days, huh? Probably about 12 days. What's the day do? 13 days or something like that, right? November the 11th. 2011, huh? Was my birth of the locks. But as you can see right here, I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, man. I'm gonna be putting up pictures of the journey throughout the video, but. I ain't gonna hold y'all long because I'm in this hot bathroom. If y'all heard anything, it's my fan right here. But shit, boy, uh, last time I seen y'all, what was I going by? I was going by Dread, right? Dread, because Dread is my name, but I decided to change it because of the negativity surrounded by dread you know hatred fear and all that uh, either or but twin it's your boy twin here man what's up man what's up with y'all all right let me stop showing off my beard showcasing my beard let's just get straight into it now this right here what you see right here is a ghetto do-rag if, if you will. Like, I got a do-rag right here somewhere. I got I got one of them big ones. Like, anybody with locks, you know, if you got a do-rag, you need a, a huge one. Then my head is huge, too. So, it's like a, it's a huge do-rag, and it's, and it's like, it's scratchy. Something like this right here. This right here is a stocking cap. Any of my people that got dreads, you probably had waves once upon a time. And a stocking cap is the best cap to use for waves. A lot of folks don't know that. I know there's a do-rag trend going on right now, but for waves... The stocking cap is the best for all my OGs know that, right? This is a stocking cap. This right here is the band in which I put around my dreadlocks. You get it for a dollar at Dollar Tree, right? I just retwisted my dreadlocks yesterday myself. Right now, let me go ahead and take it off because I'm sweating a little bit. You hear me? I'm sweating a little bit. Ooh, look at the lineup. I don't have a lineup, but I done revised my lineup. You, you feel me? It's, it's motherfuckers out there with worse lineups than me. Look, I just got a fat ass forehead. You feel me? <laughs> I just got a fat ass forehead. But it's been so long, y'all. Y'all probably didn't even know I was part of the dreadlock community. It's been that long. But as you can see, I mean, line that all up and everything. Make it look neat. This is the neatest I've ever had it look as far as uh, my beard in conjunction with my dreadlocks. But as you can see, this is a fresh. Oh my God, did I miss one? What the fuck? This is a fresh retwist, but this right here, oh, no, I didn't miss one. This right, these two right here, you see these two right here? I combine, I call myself combining these two because they both already been combined. So that right there, it's just going to have to, it's just going to have to slide, you feel me? It's just going to have to slide. I combined it by twisting, right? But if anybody got dreadlocks, y'all know that combining locks with two square twists, it's easier said than done, you feel me? Because they unravel. And that's what this was. And this is technically like six locks, right? Because I interlocked two of them. And then I combined these right here as I was retwisting, right? I tried to make one, one root right there, right? Now, speaking of roots, I, yo, seven and a half years in. I ain't even going to front. Some of my roots are very thin. They, they're, they're very thin. I need to take this out, yo, because this ain't going to do no unravel. They're very thin, like especially right here in the front, but I got a little trick. Let me go ahead and get, get through this, y'all. Look at that. Now, mind y'all, this is seven and a half years braided, right? Seven and a half years braided. Let me, let me fix that. You know what I mean? This is braided. Now, to my ladies out there that do dreadlocks, like as you can see, let me back up a little bit. As you can see, I can get it straight, right? As you can see, these are my locks. Of course, I got one hanging right there, but I've actually braided these up, yo. I've actually braided these up. As you can see, I braided them, right? Get that side view. Right, right. Go ahead and come back to the other side right here. 
that side view. Right? This is seven and a half years right here. Get that back view right there. I don't know how, how good y'all can see that, but get that back view. Right? Right? Matter of fact, let me go ahead and let y'all get that top view. Can y'all get the top view like that? Can y'all see? You know what I mean? Shout out to the person that a while back told me that I was I was going bald in the back. Shout out to you. You're the real MVP. Now, as I as I was stating, thin roots, right? As you can see right here, I got these right here, even though this right here is like about to pop off. I got these right here off of Amazon. They're not as good as I thought they would be. They're basically like little pinchy things. You can pinch them to your locks. Now, the reason why I got those is because, like I said, thinning locks. Like right here, this front one right here, I think I'm going to keep these. I think I'm going to keep these connected, right? Because these two right here, are, I mean, these three right here are really thin, right? So I think I'm going to keep these interlock right here. And I'm going to keep them so it'll be thicker, right? So this is just be one lock instead of three. This right here is actually three locks. So you, if you play catch up, like I said, this is seven and a half years, but I have them braided. So technically, my, my dreadlocks go all the way, they go down about here. They, they long, right? They long. It should be long, right? After seven and a half years. <clears throat> now, as far as maintenance, y'all, I ain't even gonna hold you. I wash them every now and then, right? Now, if I really, if I've been working out or I've been sweating or some shit like that, I make sure I stay up on washing them because you don't want your locks stinking. I'm blessed to say I've never had stank locks. You feel me? Now, as far as moisturizer, I do be slipping on the moisturizer. I'm gonna start getting back in tune with that. But mainly, I use like uh, argan oil, tea tree oil. Uh, you know, some dollar stuff that you can get from uh, Walmart somewhere, you know what I mean? Now, just because I say dollar stuff, don't think that it's, oh, that's, no. It's worth it, you feel me? It's worth it. These are the locks, man. Oh, I could buy these, like the ones that you see right here. Excuse me, the ones that you see right here with the little beads on. I put the bead on there so it'll remind me when I take these down, you know, when I get that curly effect. When I take these down, not to take these down, right? Because I want them to interlock. So that's 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 the that was the reason to be buying them. I think them things was like ten dollars. I mean, not necessarily bees, but as you can see. Damn, I didn't. Oh no, I thought I dropped one. Look at that. See what I'm saying? They come in gold and silver. I guess you can get whatever color you want, but these are the two colors in which I got. I don't think you can find a silver one. Yesterday when I uh, retwisted my locks, I made sure I just put them on the uh, gold ones. And right here, let me see what's up with this right here. What is this, man? Two locks that I had twisted. I'm gonna just go ahead and untwist these, man. I had them twisted, let me see. Look at that. Oh no, look, you got a rubber band on it, you know what I'm saying? I had them twisted, but me uh, twisting up my locks myself, self-retwist, as you can see right here, can you see it? These are two locks that are miles away apart, right? I've missed them, but I tried to combine them as far as two straight, that's why I look like that, right? So. It is what it is. But like I said, man, as far as thinning roots, you want to combine your locks, combine whatever roots are thinning. Like, for example, these three right here, right? They're not thin, thin. They can they can stand on their own, but I know me. If I went seven, seven and a half years like this, go another seven and a half, I, I might as well go ahead and connect these right here. You see what I'm saying? So sooner or later, these, these parts are going to gather. They're going to come together. And then I just twist those, right? Normally, just to give y'all some heads and tails, especially if y'all new to this right here. Normally what I do is I let it grow out. Like right now, this is uh, May. So around my birthday, my dreadlock birthday that is, my lock birthday, November the 11th, around that time. I think it was actually November the 10th, but I well, around that time, what I would do is I wouldn't get a retwist until then, right? So about time that time pops up, I would go and I would get my girl to actually retwist them with a croquet needle. Now I don't know how to uh, retwist them with a croquet, uh, croquet needle, excuse me. By myself, that's usually what I get done to mine because if you look closely, I have like soft hair, right? So the, the, this retwist right here isn't gonna last. That's why, hence why I braid them up. You get me? I couldn't just palm roll them because that's what it is. It's palm roll and then I combine three of them. You know what I'm saying? And then the beads consist of if I can ever find one when I just be trying to, you know what I mean? The beads consist of the ones that when I take down the braids, I'm going to keep them braided. You know what I'm saying? This is going to, this is going to stay braided. This is going to become one lock right here. Y'all get what I'm saying? So yeah, I got a couple of thin ones in the back that I combine and I know this one right here, all over. Some of them got uh, beads on it because they're actually 
one interlock lock that I already locked up, so it's already three locks into one. And I put that on it because I actually, like some of them you can actually look at like right here, it looks like it's a bead along with another with another lock. I put that bead there so I can take this out and it'd be one or two locks or maybe even three locks. It's probably one lock that I combine with that and it'll be straight. And then the one with the bead on it, I will leave that alone. You know what I'm saying? So I just combined one because I probably ran out of out of space. Like I said, I did it myself. So it's not gonna look it's not gonna look fancy. Just like just like here. Normally, if you go to a shop or you get a girl to do it, it'll look it'll look a lot neater than this right here. I'm talking about as far as the braid, right? But I'm a man, dog. <laughs> you feel me? But like I told y'all, man, uh, I'm a man. You're probably a man. My chicks out there, even if you, my chicks out there that don't know how to do hair, but you know how to braid, this is probably how it's gonna come out. I'm not, I'm not affected by this. This look a lot better than my before picture. You see what I'm saying? Before I retwist it, right? So that'll probably do it for the seven and a half mark, man. Y'all, let me know how y'all feeling out there, man. Do I need to get back up on it? Cause all of my my lock fam, my dreadlock fam that was uh, subscribing me for this, y'all know that I told y'all I was gonna slow down on the dreadlock videos anyway because. What more can I tell you monthly? Cause monthly I'm not gonna get a retwist, right? I'm not gonna retwist these next month or the month after, right? But I could bring you guys an update as far as me moisturizing. You know what I'm saying? Me moisturizing. So shout out to all the fellas out there that got a hairline similar to mine. You ain't got no tape up there. You just started straight up. So you ain't got no tape on my, my hairline always been like that. You get me? I might've pushed it back a little bit, a little bit further, but it's always been like this. Shout out to my barber. <laughs> You yeah, feel me? Shout out to my barber. And I got a big ass head. But either or, man, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Y'all let me know how y'all locks coming along, man. Seven and a half years. Huh? I got, I got, crazy thing is, bro, I got locks older than, look at that. Y'all can tell how, look how old it is. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. Now, this right here is a huge stocking cap, too. I forgot where I got this from. This is similar to like the do rag. I think I got them at the same time. But like I said, it's huge. Look at that. Look how huge that is. This is a stocking cap though, y'all no cap. But look how huge it is. And like for us, for us big headed brothers, you know what time it is. For us big headed brothers. And the reason why I had this up here is to secure it like, you know, tight. You know what I mean? Because it ain't no do rag. It ain't like you can you can tie it up. But this right here, I'ma keep this on. I'ma keep this on for the for a few days. When I go to sleep, I'm bad at that. Wrapping your head when you go to sleep, I'm bad at that. But I do want the locks to last, alright? So next time it's be boy twin, y'all let me know in the comment section, man. Lock Nation, y'all hear me? Lock Nation, uh, 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 Lock Game, huh? It's been a minute since I called that out, but you know what time it is. You know what time it is. All right, man. So next time it's be boy twin. Look, y'all be yourself or be everybody else. And I'm not. Peace. Twins catalog has a variety of items. Designs are constantly updated. You hear me? We gotta be dripped out. T-shirt, long sleeve T-shirts, got your pillows, got your hoodies, got that family hoodie. We got that lotto head hoodie, a couple more lotto head hoodies. We got that be yourself or be everybody else hoodie, along with the family logo with yours truly face with the, that right there is all I see is family. As you can see, the uh, second design, as far as the be yourself uh, hoodie, the be yourself or be everybody else, as you can see, B-Y-O-B. B-Y-O-V, yeah, yeah. We out here, along with the family definition shirt, that's the newest update. We also have all over print. I, I insert a little clip, all over print. So just, just keep in mind that we, we stay updated, all right, y'all? We got twin merch, that's the official twin logo. We have twin merch for my people out there that just strictly love the twin merch. We have that twin merch and so forth. Like I said, it'll be constantly updated. Y'all just stay tuned for future designs, all right? Peace. Yeah, look. I said, started out with a crew, tight like Elmer Zoo. Used to roll them J's up, blazed up, now off the school. We hit the hallways, high as gas. I put my music on, I'm zoned in, I'm off the glass. Algebra was first, government was third. Never been a dummy on the low and then the cover nerd. Yeah, I listen up when the teacher instruct. Took a couple notes down on my way to fifth. Not, it's called PE. Physical education, playing with the rock, give him a brief hesitation. Started up, miss a mate, check my reputation. Jumper so sweet, could have played regulation. Wait time over, pressure that we're